Hello everyone. May the peace of Christ be with you. I am Father John from St. Pius X Parish, Tucson, Arizona. Welcome to our midweek reflection. Today our reflection is taken from St. Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 8, verse 8 through 10. It is a text of our second reading for the 23rd Sunday in the ordinary time of the year. The theme for our reflection is love. Love is a very common word used by many people but understand, understood by a few. Even as you watch and listen to me now, what does love mean for you? When you say God loves me, or when you say I love you, what meaning or understanding really runs through your mind? The word St. Paul uses for love is agape. This word describes God's love, the love he has for creation and humanity. Agape describes a non-self-centered, wholehearted, generous desire for and commitment to the good of another. At the time of St. Paul, there were all kinds of love. Agape, philia, eros, and staunch love connotations. Philia was love anchored on family or blood ties. Eros, the etymology for erotic love, was understood as relationship of lovers, a love that is mutual in relations, mutually exploitative in relationships. The love between and among people of similar interests and ideology was referred to as touch love. So in using agape, St. Paul implies a love that has no limits. A law with no racial or religious boundaries. A law with no political or social strat stratifications. Indeed, for St. Paul, we love because we are creatures of God. And God, our creator, is love. Taking in this context, therefore, the kind of love St. Paul talks about surpasses affection and emotions. It does not spring from the simple spontaneity of feelings. Agape requires a decision, a commitment to hold others in high regard and recognize their human dignity. Agape love is an ongoing process or actionable love that demands a response of doing to others what we want done to us. This is why St. Paul will tell us this evening, owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other commandments there may be, are summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. My friends, always remember that if you have everything but no love, you have nothing. But if you have nothing but love, you have everything. Thank you for watching and God bless.